Hi, everyone. This is Jim LaValle. And of course, many of you are already familiar with the fact that we've relaunched IPS or the International Peptide Society. And I'm fortunate to chair the steering committee for it. You know, we're really excited about this whole opportunity because what it's done is it's allowed us to bring in the best clinicians that have been using peptides for years now in their clinical applications and practice every day. And they transfer that knowledge on to the students. And I can't tell you how important it is to learn from people that are in the trenches every day, working with people across a broad diversity of healthcare. So we've got experts that are experienced in OB-GYN, endocrinology, internal medicine, um, surgery. So that what you really get is this well-rounded application of how to apply peptides into your practice if, if that's something that you're really interested in doing. Now, in addition to that, we've re worked a lot of different aspects of the education as well. So for example, we have monographs that we've rewritten now that have the full text linked to them so that you can get all of the evidence related to that particular peptide. You can read about it. You can see where its applications are. And we also rate the level of the supported studies as well. So you can find out what level of support that particular peptide may have and actually click, click to those studies to see what that support actually is. Now, in addition to that, we're doing regular meetings where we're having our instructors or our, you know, our advisory board members and teachers and educators uh, be able to host those, share their clinical pearls, but more importantly, for students to be able to share what they've been doing with peptides with case studies. So there's this whole opportunity where we learn from each other as well. And if that's the one thing I would have to say about what we're doing is we're really trying to create a collaborative experience where everybody brings their best game to their knowledge of peptides and shares it. And I think that's the real essence of, of the certification course and uh, both certification course one and two. And I think that that's what most of the students have said is that they really love the diversity of information, all the different instructors that they got exposed to, and more importantly, that they felt like they got you know, gratifying results. Now, here's the last thing that we're going to be doing. This is the next, I think, important piece to our education as it relates to application for peptides is we're doing small master classes and our master classes are actually more clinical applications. So in the first master class, you're going to have uh, Dr. Marisol Duque, uh, who will be teaching the application of peptides and uh, it, for neural therapy. So peptides and neural therapy combined. Uh, and that is going to be in September, along with Dr. Matt Cook and his insights into pain management and the other ways that he uses peptides. So we're going to have two instructors. You're going to get them in a concentrated effort in a practical setting where you're going to be doing and working with actually knowing, you know, how to mix them, what to do, where to inject. So it's real live hands on application that you'll be able to experience in a small group setting. So we're very excited about this. If you haven't checked out International Peptide Society, and our new relaunch, I'd invite you to do so. I think you'll find out that it's incredibly collaborative. We know there's great education across the, the board on uh, peptides right now. A lot of different organizations that are out there, but I'll put our instructors and teachers up uh, as being best in class, excellent clinicians who are interested in teaching you how to get gratifying results, as well as the legality side, how things are manufactured, the difference between lab grade and professional grade. And one of my roles is of course, to teach what are the complementary therapies that go with peptides so that you can get the most out of that peptide therapy, right? So what nutrients, what herbs, in addition to obviously peptides, as well as the new category of peptide bioregulators. So I look forward to seeing you. I hope we see you in September and certainly check out our certification course. Have a great day.